This topic, as you already know, is on the Nara clan. The Nara clan has existed in Konoha long before the Leaf Village was established. This was along with the Yamanaka and Akumichi clan. All of those clans are like historically intertwined. The Nara came from the Nara clan's forest. I know there's no surprise there, but it's still a very sacred area that the Nara inhabit. I guess there's like some sort of special deer that also live on the land. Generations ago, the clan's ancestors developed a jutsu to paralyze the forest deer to harvest their antlers. This jutsu is known as shadow binding. It's a skill that requires harsh training from a teacher and an affinity to use yin release. It's taught through the generations of the Nara clansmen and only by being born within this clan can a person learn this hidan technique. The tribe eventually modified their shadow binding to work on people. The properties of this jutsu allowed its users to paralyze an opponent for self-defense, but on top of that, variations of this technique allows the caster to interrogate by not targeting the mouth, allowing the person bound to speak freely. This technique is not limited to one target. In the tuning exam, Shikadai was able to hold shadow paralysis on all of Baruto's shadow clones. Another ability of this jutsu is to have a limited control of a person who's caught in the jutsu. The possession is limited to mirroring the jutsu caster's movements. The range of this technique varies on the skill level of the user and how much ambient light is casting a shadow. To catch a target in the jutsu, the user casts a shadow that reaches any direction like an invisible hand. The shadow can weave through objects and get boosts from other object shadows like in the first tuning exams when Shikamaru used Naruto's old burrow to get behind Tamari. Skilled users can send their shadow in all directions making the range to acquire targets an area of effect. This technique is super overpowered, but it doesn't mean it comes without its drawbacks. The main advantage of using shadow binding techniques are that it takes an ungodly amount of chakra to keep a person caught in the jutsu. The range of these techniques are also trash midday when there are no shadows to manipulate. Also, skilled opponents seem to have the ability to will themselves out of the jutsu. The members of the Nara bloodline are blessed with both intelligence and laziness. Asuma tricked Shikamaru into taking an IQ test, and Asuma calculated that he has an IQ of over 200. Being a naturally born strategist compensates all of the disadvantages like the clan's low stamina and the low range of their primary techniques. But just because they rely on their shadow binding abilities doesn't mean that they're like the Aburami clan. They can learn other abilities like for example the fourth data book claims that Shikamaru can perform earth and fire release. The Nara clan has their own research center. Experiments involving their cousin clan led to the development of an antidote to the three colored pills which saved Choji's life. In my Akamichi clan video I talk about this when Choji ate the three colored pills. These pills allow an Akamichi clansman to temporarily perform calorie control. It's a very, very powerful technique, but a side effect of using these result in the user's death. I didn't want to end the video without saying this. There's actually a real life Nara clan forest, and it's known for having tame deer. I'm Six Passage. I'll see you guys next week.